Hey everybody, I am Jarrett Ross, the Genie Vlogger, and it's a quick genealogy tip. Today's quick tip is about the cost of information. When it comes to genealogy research, you're eventually going to hit a point where you're going to have to spend money. There are a lot of extremely useful sites and resources that are free. Things like Family Search, Jewish Gen, the Archives of Amsterdam. A lot of different resources are free and available online. But when you're truly serious about researching, you're going to hit a point that you're gonna have to spend some money. I know a lot of people try to avoid spending money while they do their research. I know I'm guilty of this, but what I found out is when I finally cave in and actually cough up some money, the information I get is extremely useful. The most common thing people pay for when it comes to genealogy is access to sites such as Ancestry.com, Fold3, Newspapers.com, Genie.com, MyHeritage. Another way you may expect to spend some money is actually traveling to certain archives there may be cost to the entrance to the archive you may have to print things from microfilm you may need to print things off of their computers plus just the general fees of having to travel another cost you may encounter is ordering documents ordering documents through mail and email is very common in genealogy and for some people, they'll hit a point where they want to hire a professional genealogist. And that's where someone like myself comes in. But don't wait too long because you don't want to spend that $26 or that $50 or that $100 because you may actually be denying yourself access to information that is going to help you way more than you imagine. Thank you so much for checking out this quick tip video. If you enjoyed, be sure to give it the thumbs up. You can also click right about here if you'd like to subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Genie Vlogger. I am the Genie Vlogger. I'm out.